Hi viewer, welcome back. This is the second part of the income tax uh, calculation and this is related to the database. For example, if you have a database for employees and there you want to add uh, such auto formulas for income tax calculations, etc. So how to do that? In this video, we will discuss in detail all these functions. You have a database of, of all employees. So you already have this uh, source document. This is the source document. Another uh, tutorial on this which I have already uploaded the link is given in the description where I have explained all these sources and the basic uh, calculation methods of uh, income tax. So you can watch that also. But when you are going to the database so you will have to add one another source. This is the one source and the other source is obtained average number of days in a month in fiscal year. So every month i have just added here all the months from july to june 2024 and i have just added the number of days in each month and at the end i obtained average of these so for fiscal year 2022-23 our average number of days per month are 30.416666 which you can use when you are using database for a specific person because in the database start date and end date of the employee for example this is for the text so what was the starting date of that specific person so so that it may calculate the exact amount not for that was only a calculator calculating 12 months income tax always remember that in every year these this this average uh, might change because of the fifth because of this month so it might change if it is 29 for example in some years uh, in, in 2024 it will be 29 so then you will see that the average number of days would be 30.5 but in other years it's 28 so this is the average number of days you will have to exactly range it so that none of the point is missed here you can just add the start and end month and now i will show you for example this is your person where id start date he has started for example from 1st July and the end date is never known for an employee until and unless it is a specific contract. So then in that case for the text you have to add the end date of the fiscal year which is 30th June 2023. Now what is the salary of this person? What are the allowances? What is the total monthly salary? What is the year salary? Now here it will obtain the slabs automatically. Automatically how? These are those source documents. So what I have done here, I have done, I have added here a formula for the slab, and that formula is if the total yearly salary of a person is greater than or equal to this one. So you should add a slab one. If this one, add slab two. If this one. So in this way, you can use this if function. You can skip this slab also if you do not need that, but you can use this slab later on for easy calculation. And how to obtain this slab? Simple formula is if this is lesser than or equal to this, the, the, the end point of the salary range. If this yearly salary is lesser than or equal to this, so this is what? This is slab 1, obviously. Comma, value of true, it should be 1. But type this one in inverted commas, or you can just range it. This should be slab one. Okay, this is the first condition. Now, again, if this yearly salary is greater, lesser than, or equal to this, so that should be slab two. And similarly, go on. If this is greater than or equal to this, slab 3, lesser than or equal to this, slab 4. So, in this way, you can obtain it. Now, here you can see this salary is 1.2 million. So, it shows slab 2 which is because it's 12 leg. Here you can see 12 leg. This is slab 2. Now, if I add another one, if, if this salary is lesser than or equal to this so what you should do slab 3 now this is slab 2 now for example if the monthly salary of this month is 1.2 million so it is in slab 2 
if it is more than 1.2 million for example if between this uh, if i say that a person monthly salary is 1 lakh and 20 thousand so you see it changed to slave 3 and this one also changed to slave 3 this is the for complete formula this is for the slave now total applicable tax obtained they had the same formula the same formula the same range as i have taken but there i was using this range for the total yearly salary and here i will use this range this j15 this is j15 cell so here you can see j15 everywhere you will see j15 now rest is the same function j15 so you can add this formula if and and all these functions and it will automatically calculate now the taxable uh, number of month for this person now for example for different people if someone is starting from 1st by 2023 and uh, the end date is 30th june 2023 so which makes it only two months so in two months this yearly salary should also calculate according to these dates so for that i have just multiplied it by 12 you will have to obtain yearly taxable salary so yearly taxable salary so taxable salary is simply this multiply by end date minus start date plus one divided by the average number of days which will give you the number of month and you are multiplying this monthly salary with those number of months which are applicable so here you can see the yearly salary is 1.4 million but according to the number of months that he is in this fiscal year is only 1.19 million now this is calculating according to this start date and end date you can see here here i have obtained the yearly taxable salary now the income tax is different now this person who is taking 120000 if he is starting from 1st september 2022 and the end date of that fiscal year is always the same 30th june so total applicable tax is this total number of uh, months are 9.962 and tax monthly is this one now if he is starting from 1st july from the first date you can see now here the total number of months are 12 and he has to pay 45,000 and the monthly tax is 3,700. If he is starting from 1st June 2020, so there is only one month. When it, it comes to only one month, so you can see there is no tax because the one month salary of 120 comes under this slip. So you can do this in this way, obtain a proper uh monthly and yearly calculation of a salary of a person and same way the year and here you can see the slaves and these are changing if that person has start from first july so his slave is third if he is taking one uh, hundred and twenty thousand if he has started from first december so the same salary but the slave is now two because his yearly salary is only at 8 lakh 36000 not 1.4 million so this these formulas are based on your start date end date and then the yearly taxable salary and uh, based on that it's obtaining slave total applicable tax taxable number of month and tax month i hope you got my point if there are any confusion you can comment on the video and i have also uh, shared this file in the description of the video you can download and see uh, how you can use this simple excel file if you like the video so kindly click the like button share it and subscribe the channel dear viewers we have started this youtube channel there are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn microsoft excel microsoft access PowerPoint, MS Word, other learning tips. So we have detailed playlists and there are hundreds of tutorials on Microsoft Excel, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, how to design presentation, Microsoft Access, how to develop databases and manage data, online data collection, learning Google Form, Kobo, MS Forms, 
you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas, dependent drop down list, validation, name managers, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP function, F function, uh, advanced use of count, F in sum ifs, how to find duplicates, tricks and tips related to Microsoft Excel, how to develop search boxes, searchable drop down list, aggregate functions, tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted, for example, school going and other such studies. There are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts, attractive charts, speedometers, uh, dashboards in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, in PowerPoint, also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in PowerPoint. How to do in MS Access, also you will find all these sessions in proper sequence. Uh, the Access tutorials playlist. Here are almost eight sessions. Uh, in session one, you will find the basics how to create tables, queries, forms, and then you will go on with advanced options in Microsoft Access. Similarly, you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data, Google Form, uh, Kobo, uh, MS Form. Uh, you will find also the use of MS Word, the mail merge functions. There are session on SPSS also. So you can learn SPSS if you need to do some analysis in SPSS. There is a series on project management also, how to conduct need assessment studies. Kindly support us, visit the channel, watch, learn and improve your productivity. Thank you so much.